Hello Cherries fans, well what a beautiful day it is. I'm at Canford Sang and if you don't know where that is then you probably haven't seen any of our previous videos that gave the initial updates about the new AFC Bournemouth training ground complex. So look, you may have seen our video recently, which did huge numbers by the way, on the stadium expansion at Dean Court, the possibilities of that, relocating, etc. And if relocation is on the cards, then Kings Park looked at one point to be the favoured venue. But if that was going to happen, then the training ground would need to move first. That's where the first team currently train at. The academy are across the road from where I'm at now, but the aim of the game is to bring them all under one roof, literally, because there will be an indoor dome that's going to be created that will up our category status for AFC Bournemouth, which, to be fair, is much needed. But look, this is a location which is five miles away from the stadium. Actually, beautiful round here. And there's been a location that was earmarked a long time ago. Land was purchased. Groundworks commenced. Alas, one COVID, two relegation. Didn't really help things. So the club probably quite sensibly put the plan into limbo for a bit. But now that Premier League promotion has been confirmed, Neil Blake at the uh, one of the most recent supporter experience group meetings confirmed that a contractor had been appointed and things will be cracking on again. It might not be the huge project initially that we all hoped for, but it's a... Uh, it's a project that can be built in a modular way, bit by bit. I think the intention is to move the academy over there first, and then eventually the first team will join them. But look, it's going to be a project that will probably last uh, a few years. Premier League survival would definitely help it happen sooner. But anyway, I'm over here and going to check out what's happening at the moment. Come with me. So I'm just at the southeastern part of the training ground at the moment. I'm still in the Sang, but there is a little gateway to this particular area. And as you can see in the background, there is there is a bit of activity back there with a few JCBs and a bit of movement. You can walk further down the Sang and uh, get a better view, which is uh, where I'm about to go now. So we'll have a look what's going on. So firstly, what's going on over here is that a full-sized outdoor pitch is going to be constructed. I'm just reading from the minutes now at the moment, and then they're gonna to need to set up some temporary offices as well. But then the focus will be on building an indoor dome that's gonna have a full-size pitch on as well, and some offices, which will help to um, improve the category status. The timescale that contractors are working to for the completion of the outdoor 3G pitch is actually end of September. So that's um relatively quick turnaround, and uh, you know, could well be that, you know, the academy will be in there sooner rather than later, but uh, it's gonna walk a bit further, see what else we can see. So here we are on the other side of the venue. This is actually going to be the main entrance and as you can see some signage is there to show that there's some heavy works going on. This is going to be the entrance where the players drive down and you've got to say, given the fact that 95% of the time they're going to be spending their time here as opposed to the stadium, my God, what absolutely beautiful surroundings. This complex I know it's going up in stages, but what a glorious place to train. I mean, it is some way down here, about a 10 minute walk, but we're gonna go down and just see what kind of vantage point we've got from the southwestern side of the venue. Slightly windy here, so I hope you can hear me okay, but if you haven't seen it already, recently did an interview with Andrew Sermon. Of course, he's a Saints fan but he played most of his games for AFC Bournemouth. So he's basically been adopted by AFC Bournemouth and is completely AFC Bournemouth. But of course he, um, he got snapped up by the Southampton Academy when he was quite young. I think he was about nine years old when he moved over from uh, Johannesburg to uh, Southampton, where his parents were originally from. And played a, you know, a couple of local football games before the scouts you know, got him involved within the training set up there. And I said to him, you know, how important is it? 
and how important was it for your development and he said it's it's huge and it's crucial what's gonna be great about the the academy players training with such good facilities is that also they can take inspiration from having the first team there around them eventually when they move over as well that's going to be massive and look the complex size in terms of like acreage is very similar to staplewood in marchwood wherever it is in southampton and obviously that has and had a really really good reputation for producing you know quality players which which they sold on at a huge price so if we can get anything near that then it'd be it'd be great i mean we've obviously got coaching staff to do it by the likes of sam surridge being sold for you know a decent amount of money for an untried championship player at the time and there are others as well who could go for a lot of money in the future so it's definitely worth investing in a training complex as opposed to a stadium like i said originally financially it makes sense because having the extra seats would, wouldn't exactly add loads of coffers to the bank, but... Sorry, I'm just trying to talk my way up until the point where I can actually see something, so... Only two minutes to go. So this is where the private land starts. As you can see, private property. Do not enter, so I won't be doing that, but this is where... Some of the vans have been going in and out. You can't really see anything from here. Just saw a little glimpse of a digger just then between the trees as it was moving. Um, still, still in its early days, but all this land is AFC Bournemouth's. It'll be really interesting to see what happens over the next, ye well, months and years, really. Especially if we... Uh, retain Premier League football as well because this this could build up very very quickly right just at the golf course at uh, Camford School can see a little bit more from this side this is still outside the complex Yeah, so over here, from this direction, you can see the sheer scale of how much earth has been moved behind this natural viewing barrier, it seems. They're still at it, look. They're still at it. There's a lot of work that's going on to excavate the land around here. Nice little walkthrough, by the way. So there you go, you saw a little bit of work going on. Obviously I was just around the perimeter of the area and it is all secured down. Cameras and a lot of security, etc. And a lot of people have been contacting me saying, do you fancy flying a drone over it and getting some footage of how it's developing? And I don't feel it's my place to really do that, to be honest. The club, I'm sure, will be documenting how it's going. Maybe you're deploying their own drone every so often so fans can be aware of how it's sh shaping up etc but you know what I'll, I'll do what I can do from from the outskirts and look it is a training facility and uh, as a fan whilst I want that to be built and I'm passionate about seeing it built my focus is going to be uh, seeing what happens on the pitch so keep your eyes and ears peeled because it sounds like the club will be announcing something every so often with regards to how it's developing but look work's being done and that's one of the criticisms that, you know, these things never get built. Mentions of the Walker stand and all that kind of stuff. If you are of a certain cherry vintage, you'll know what I'm talking about. However, yeah, look, it, um, it looks like contractors are working away in ridiculously hot conditions. And ground is being prepared, so I'm, I'm more than content and look, I'm sure the further it progresses, that site is gonna get even busier as well. So there's an update for you. Felt a little bit like David Attenborough going through the uh, undergrowth there, but some pictures for you anyway. Stay tuned, back of the net. Hell of a lot of Premier League and AFC Bournemouth content on the way. Until the next one, I'll see you later on. Up the chest.